anarchy, a sectarian Shia who has created chaos throughout the country. The Sunni opponents are equally dogmatic and dictatorial. Uh, the Kurds also, they're cult figures in Barzani and Talibani that run thing in the north. You have three small dictators from one big one. You know, what is the great gain in human rights? Uh, virtually nothing. Uh, so think of how much better we, off we would be. We would have had enough savings, Alex, to fund or not spend anything on the so-called bailout of George Bush and the stimulus program of uh, Barack Obama, trillions of dollars, if we had just refrained from this extravagant waste of money and men's and women's lives for nothing. Now you ask, what should we do now? Uh, because we can't redo history. And I think in asking that question, we need to even rethink about the Middle East and the boundaries there. Remember, Alex, the boundaries from those countries are totally and completely artificial. They were drawn after World War I, when the Ottoman Empire was carved up and it was collapsed you know, at the Treaty of Versailles. And so there isn't any rhyme or reason for these boundaries. They don't follow religious homogeneity, linguistic homogeneity, cultural or historical homogeneity. We can't, the United States can't unilaterally change that. That's why you have, you're going to have some instability there no matter what happens. And we need to have the humility to recognize, even though we never revel in other people's tragedies, we can't do anything other than make a mess of things and create danger to us. And one of the things we fail to recognize, because power in international relations is unsentimental, we go in and support anybody. And I don't know who we'd support, you know, in, in Iraq at present, Alex. Who is there, you know, that's a, a friend worthy of support? We end up with an ingrate like Hamid Karzai, and then all of the opponents of the ingrate become our enemy. But it makes money for the military-industrial complex to sell weapons just into any black hole and have no-bid contracts. That's why this never seems to end. Let's break down your defense of the Rand Paul uh, foreign policy for folks that don't know what it is because it's being misrepresented by the controlled media. Yes. And you have to, what, what they try to suggest is that Rand Paul is a so-called isolationist. He doesn't want to send ambassadors. He doesn't want to have intelligence collection. He doesn't want to have trade, which is all complete nonsense. The folk, and the reason why, Alex, it's very critical when you think about foreign policy to focus on war and why people say, well, why is war such a big deal? It's a big deal because it makes what's ordinarily first-degree murder legal. It's a huge issue. It creates resentment. Sometimes you have to do it. You know, after Pearl Harbor, we have to fight back. But it should be a very exacting line. And we should only fight, risk our soldiers' lives for us. Other people abroad, they don't pay taxes. They don't pay, they don't obey our laws. They don't have any loyalty to us. We have no moral or other obligation to defend them, just like they don't us. And Rand Paul is for, I, I think the foreign policy can be captured in the phrase, billions for defense, not one cent for empire. Why? If you're going, Alex, just think, you're approaching a family whose son or daughter died in Afghanistan. But when you're trying to explain what they died for, you know, could you tell them? You know, you'd be speechless. You know, we don't even know. What did we accomplish in Afghanistan after all these years? All the people who were implicated in the direct attack of 9-11, we've killed them or captured them. Well, I think that's the bottom line is all the warmongers are so discredited and are so, uh, you know, obviously uh, just profiteering, but they sit up there with this moral high ground. How do we discredit them and then endorse the ideas of somebody like yourself or Rand Paul? Well, just to expose it. I don't think that it takes a whole lot of convincing. It's just having people like you who are willing uh, to give the people a different voice than the echo chamber out of Washington. Oh, yeah, if we don't fight there, then we'll be fighting a caliphate in Washington, D.C. All these staggering exaggerations um, that, that... But meanwhile, the caliphate is taking over Iraq, and it's doing them with arms given to them to attack Syria. And then I go to the airport. In fact, there's a new photo in uh, that we're going to cover when we come back. Vern Troyer... The, the famous little person uh, who's in Austin Powers playing Mini-Me, literally having TSA stick their hands down the back of his pants and search him. Uh, but, but meanwhile, illegal aliens are pouring across by the millions. I want to come back and ask you, what's going on in this country? I mean, it does seem like total insanity uh, by the power structure right now, folks, where if you're a well-known movie star...
TSA is going to literally check in your butt crack. I'm sorry, that's the photo. Uh, he released it with him bent over a table. I mean, I mean the, 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 uh, he's in a wheelchair, obviously has medical problems. To have a fighting chance against cold and flu bugs, get the world's best garlic extract, Allison Plus C. Fight viruses, bacteria, and fungi with Allison Plus C. Scientifically proven in double-blind studies using low doses to greatly reduce the number, severity, and duration of common colds. Allison Plus C contains 300 milligrams of stabilized Allison, the active ingredient in crushed garlic. Studies show Allison Plus C is effective against MRSA, bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. One tablet of Allison Plus C has the equivalent of 40 cloves of garlic. Allison Plus C supports your body's resistance to all types of conditions and can help lower high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So boost your body's resistance to infection with nature's best garlic extract. Allison Plus C. To order, call 855-ALLISON. That's 855-255-4246. Or go to allisonplus.com. Spelled A-L-L-I-C-I-N plus.com. Get Allison Plus C from Affinity Health Products. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, Master Herbologist and Chief Formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking Super Female Vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from Super Male Vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, Super Female Vitality, delivers 10 key herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your wooden door frames are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the door sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with a door sentinel. Protect your home now at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com for a special limited time offer. The door sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one- to four-year supply of pure soaps or our one- to two-month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry, and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Constitutional lawyer, Ron Paul, Rand Paul, advisor, Bruce Fine is our guest. BruceFineLaw.com isn't up yet, but in the next few weeks, it's his new revamped website will be up. 
You can also uh, find his latest book, uh, Dealing with the Empire and its Collapse. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Bruce, it shows how out of control the establishment is. They try to create this artificial reality that it's kooky to not want to preemptively invade a bunch of countries. When Rand Paul talks, he sounds like JFK or he sounds like uh, Ronald Reagan. I mean, those guys weren't offensively out launching a bunch of wars. I mean, the good guys never offensively launch a war. And then, like you said, you can't even say what all these wars have done except clear the way for Saudi Arabia to take over the Middle East. And I think in the final equation, uh, I think it's Saudi Arabia, even more than Israel. I know you mentioned that in your article, and I'm not defending you know, some of Israel's war promotion. But there's a bunch of special interests here that want the U.S. in the business of empire because we're paying for it. Hey, let the Germans pay for all their military. Let the British pay. We're going bankrupt. I mean, isn't that the Rand Paul foreign policy? Well, yeah, and, and I think it goes back to George Washington, no entangling alliances. The fact is you're, just, you're able to recite all the mischief there. Saudi Arabia, Iran, Syria, Jordan, they all have their own agendas. Israel has its own agendas. We should expect that. They're doing what they're doing for their per good, not for the good of the United States. And so we need to go back to the most famous capture, I think, of U.S. foreign policy was John Quincy Adams, uh, who was really part of the founding generation. When he was Secretary of State and a message to Congress said, we wish freedom and liberty well abroad. We fight only to defend our own, that our force abroad has got to be the force of example. But when we resort to force and and risking lives, that last full measure of devotion, is to defend the United States against attack. And indeed, when you review the Constitutional Convention uh, and the idea of war, every person spoke of it in terms of defending against an attack, not racing around the world like uh, Julius Caesar, I came, I saw, I conquered. And you remember Reagan famously withdrew our troops from Lebanon when he saw that they were just sitting ducks and couldn't accomplish anything. And these arguments are not to be callous towards human rights violations abroad. It's just recognizing the limits of what our own power is. And we make it worse and we endanger our own liberties because in the process, Alex, of going abroad in search of monsters to destroy, we endow the president with virtually limitless power. Just think of the speechlessness of the founding fathers if they were told the president of the United States today, not King George III, who we overthrew in 1776, the president of the United States today claims authority to kill anybody he wants on the planet based on secret evidence that he alone looks at. With no outside review. Ever. Well, let's exactly let's go back to Hillary saying uh, three years ago when Gaddafi died, we came, we saw he died. Yeah. I mean, the, he, even top generals or dictators of the past didn't act like that. There's really a childish disconnect, I think, because so many of these politicians have no military background or something. I don't know what it is, but they just act like crazy people to make statements like that. They do. And you think she could make that statement? The reason why we had Benghazi and our ambassador was killed was why? Because people like Hillary promoted the gratuitous U.S. war to throw out Qaddafi. And remember this, he was the one who renounced the weapons of mass destruction. So think of the signal Hillary Clinton sent to Iran and North Korea. If you abandon WMD, you end up like Qaddafi, being overthrown and killed. Could you imagine anything more stupid than that when we're trying to negotiate a denuclearization of their program? Well, they now admit that uh, uh, Libya is 10 times worse than it was. And l let me ask you this question. I know you're busy. I'll only do five more minutes on the other side and talk more about your articles in the Huffington Post that people should read of the, of the mindset of, 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 of empire versus liberty. Then we will go to Mark and Chad and others that are patiently holding after Bruce leaves us. So stay with us, callers. But think about this question and start answering it now if you can. So I'm going to come back and elaborate on it. The, there is something in history with leaders when they go megalomaniacal crazy. Do you think it's a disconnect in the ruling class? Or do you think it is some type of megalomania that is making them historically act like like classical comic, cook, comic book bad guys? So stay there. Attorney Bruce Fine, I want to get your take as a constitutional lawyer and as a historian on that final question and other tidbits uh, out of your excellent two-part article at the Huffington Post in defense of Senator Rand Paul's foreign policy. And we're going to put links to these articles up on Infowars.com.
so that these articles get attention out there. But it's important to, to talk about the only Republican running who isn't a total warmonger. We're on the mark.